so today we're gonna do a how-to styling video I know it's been a while and we're gonna do denim because I just like denim okay also because uh, I think that the fastest way to update your look is just to have a new pair of jeans in uh, the latest cut and this season it's all about the straight leg jean um, I'm glad because I personally don't like skinny jeans I know I don't know huh? and, and last season it was all oh, for quite a few seasons it was mom jeans which a lot of you have told me is hard to wear so straight legged jeans are a bit more flattering um, and very versatile so here are a few tips one is to get a pair of jeans that aren't too long I think that straight legged jeans look best when it's a little bit cropped just a bit at the ankle for some reason when your jean is a bit cropped it makes you look a little taller so just above the ankle is a good length the other thing to take note of is to make sure that it's fitted um, I find that to make it look more current and more 2019 rather than a very 90s look is to have your straight legged jeans either high rise or mid rise you know, so not anything below the belly button, it's not a Britney Spears look. Um, so I, I find that not only to look more current, but it's also more flattering. And the third thing is to make sure that it fits around the butt and the thighs. So you will see that many of the straight legged styles I'm showing today are not... You know, there's the fitted straight leg and there's the looser kind of straight leg, which is what I prefer. Um, but that said, you still want it to be flattering like at the thighs and especially at the butt because you don't want that saggy butt look and that is also the problem with a lot of mom jeans so if you have problems with the saggy butt look straight legged jeans are your thing so here are four ways to wear them <laughs> so for this look I was inspired by a bit of the Parisian kind of vibe I guess because I just came from Paris so there's a leopard print beret and I paired it with red chunky heels because I think red and leopard print is a really nice combination. So you see that this straight leg pair is slightly wider cut, but it's nice because there's the detail is in the fact that it's button fly with the ribbon. Um, the ribbon kind of cinches in the waist. I don't have a really small waist, so I find that that really helps. And what also helps is to tuck in something slouchy. In this case, it's a slouchy knit sweater that I find very cozy. This is not great for days when it's hot, but it's a really nice look for when it's raining outside or when you're in a country that's a little bit colder than Singapore. So that's kind of like a sophisticated way to wear your straight legged jeans. Now another way to wear your straight legged jeans is what I call the OTT kind of way, which is a bit my style sometimes. So something a bit more over the top. In this case, it's a crop top that is very statement. So it's patterned and there's a, quite a lot of skin to be honest plus it's kind of like that has that shoulder detail where it's one strap so it's a bit of a, a asymmetric shoulder so that's where the focus should be um, but the good thing about straight legged jeans is that it's such a basic piece and in this case I picked a dark wash the only detail is that it has that sort of cuff at the bottom so that makes it uh, special but still very basic and because it's so basic you can wear it with something a bit more over the top so in this case I pair it with something over the top I picked a pair of chunky statement heels uh, these have a floral design that kind of clash with the graphic design on top but it's meant to be deliberate and is meant to be a very fun and a very um, out there sort of look and last minute I found this Perspex bag so I decided to pair it with a very very bright neon bag so everything is supposed to be a bit clashy with a very basic dark denim to kind of anchor the whole look. So that's the OTT way of wearing straight legged jeans. So a more crisp way to wear your straight legged jeans is with a classic white shirt. So in this case, for some reason, I can't seem to find any of my white shirts. I think I cleared a lot of them out because they were starting to yellow, so don't tell him, but this is the husband's <laughs> white shirt from Zara. I like it because it's a very structured and slightly heavier material, so it gives it a nice weight to it. And then so when you cuff the sleeves, you can kind of see the texture um, of the shirt. The creases kind of give it character. And because it's so structured, when you leave the buttons open, it, it kind of still keeps that nice shape. I'm not a huge fan of v-necks, um, for some reason I don't think it's the most flattering shape on me but whenever I wear a v-neck, I usually wear like a choker because that makes me feel... I don't know, I'm kind of insecure about this whole area but the choker kind of makes you feel like it's still a high collared kind of look. I've paired it with a pair of satin booties um, just for fun because I think that it's such a basic look. A crisp white shirt contrasted with very distressed uh, straight jeans together with a satin booties kind of make it look a bit more fashion-y if you want to wear it to the office you can also wear it with just very simple pumps like you can wear it just with black, black palms 
or even colored palms. I think it looks very sophisticated and it looks very crisp still. But of course, I need a bit of drama and a bit of fun. And these jeans are very distressed. I think they are my favorite pair of straight legged jeans. You can see it has uh, sort of a wash where they kind of remove from pocket and there's a wash where there is. There's also like rips on the knees and the bottom is distressed as well. So I, I really like that sort of distressed look. But like I said, if you want to swap this for the office, just wear a very plain and simple pair with a white shirt and heels and that's it. One way to style your straight legged jeans. And so the final way to style your straight legged jeans is in a more cute and a more casual way. So in this case, it's great for the heat wave we've been having. I just styled it with a simple boob tube, which is very 90s. Um, if you feel there's too much skin, because I sometimes feel a bit self-conscious in tube tops for some reason, um, you can always throw on a jacket. So it's denim on denim. In this case, the, the straight legged jeans are not your usual blue denim, but it's this nice pink with a white pinstripe. So that kind of makes it look a bit different, but you can also wear it with normal blue denim. And I've thrown over a denim jacket as well, just so that I have extra coverage if it gets cold or if I just feel very self-conscious. This is a very fun casual look, so with sneakers it's great. It's also a very good, uh, what I call, run around outfit. Like if you need to run errands and stuff, it's comfortable. And yeah, it's, it's basically like wearing shorts, except not shorts if you're not a shorts kind of girl. So those are four ways um, that I like to style my straight legged denim jeans and three tips on how to wear straight legged denim jeans. Drop me a line below if you have tips as well and if you wanna you know, share the ways that you wear your straight legged denim jeans, do that as well. You can tag me on Instagram and tell me, hey, this is how I styled it. Otherwise, I'll catch up with you on Instagram and on Facebook. Bye! Do you know I have six pairs of straight legged denim jeans? It's a bit excessive. Considering they're not even my favourite cut of denim jeans. <laughs>